uh, day six of working. It's supposed to be off today, but since State is in the building to do our full book, I'm coming in. They told me to come in at six o'clock. It's seven thirty. I mean six thirty-six. Uh, I'm not coming in that early. Yesterday, uh, I couldn't even drive in a straight line. It was very difficult. I was so exhausted. And now this is my sixth day. I'm still totally exhausted, but I'm not gonna put myself in danger uh, just so I could go to work. Uh, oh, pick up, pick up the uh, your garage driveway. What are you looking? Oh, um, I don't know. I'm exhausted. I haven't, I haven't really slept. Mom, are you getting ready for Thanksgiving? about just asking to go home right now because I'm so exhausted I can't concentrate <sighs> dragging so much every time every time there's state I'm working seven six seven seven days straight six days straight every damn time Last year I was doing wound care seven days straight, or six days, I don't remember. I feel like throwing up right now. I'm still debating if I should just ask to go home early, or stick it out a few more hours. Yesterday they didn't leave until like five, and it's 1.30 right now. I hate full books. It's like mar running a marathon. I'd rather sprint than a marathon. Left neck is hurting, sharp pain there. Give me strength. Give me strength. I actually, actually made it the day. There's a lot of coffee. I drank lots of coffee. I just hope they give me the days off. I asked for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I still have to be there. I still have to go there tomorrow. I still have to be here tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Hopefully Dominic comes in tomorrow. Finally home. Oh God, so tired, man. So very tired. So, why do I torture myself? Why, why don't I just, why don't I just quit? Why I work so hard, why all the sacrifices, why I'm putting myself through this is because of her. Because I love my wife. She's everything. Everything that I do is because of her. Mostly everything. Because it's not just the money. I mean, it's for the insurance. I want to make sure she's safe. Her medication is like $5,000. And with the insurance, it's almost like next to nothing. That's the most persistent fly I've ever seen. When... President Obama, POTUS, extended a, an invitation to congratulate him for becoming president-elect. It was supposed to be a very brief, you know, 15, 20 minute meeting. It turned into an hour and a half, okay? And, and Trump came out like, 
Okay. We probably don't know this, but they probably, when you become the new president-elect, they take you into the White House, and they, sh they lock you in a room, and, and all of a sudden you're... Lizard people, listen motherfucker, we're the ones who actually run this shit. Get in line. Let me show you JFK, this is what we did to JFK. Behave, behave, there's gonna be no wall. Get out of here. Oh, maybe a fence. No wall. You're not deporting all of our people that pick our strawberries, avocados, and 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 build your roads, and, and, and do your car work, and all that good. There's gonna be no wall, gonna be a fence. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. pretty impressive, wasn't it? I got it, I got the sucker. Nice. What did he talk about? He got indoctrinated yep. by the, the lizard, lizard people. people.